Hi, welcome back to uh, Field Trip Nation. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at uh, field trip macroscopic, I'm sorry, microscopically instead of uh, the bigger world. We're going to look at the smaller world. I got a recent uh, new toy. It is a Wi Fi digital microscope and uh, it's actually pretty cool. It says up to a thousand, magnification of up to a thousand. But I'd say it's probably closer to around six to eight, it's about seven to eight hundred. Um, and uh, we're going to look at some normal things like rocks. We'll be looking at materials that clothing is made of or rugs, um, what concrete looks like, and plants. And uh, let's get started. I'm going to show you what you get with this Wi Fi digital microscope. Uh, you can connect it up to your phone. You can connect it. Uh, I've connected it up to my iPad, and I've also connected it up to my my uh, Windows PC. So what you get with this is a set of instruction manual, uh, a USB cord, and a holder, a charging stand. That you would then put the and your handy dandy your handy dandy microscope it looks odd it looks like the old style of, uh, for if you've ever seen any old field microscopes the only thing is this is all handheld and uh, it, uh, it 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 does a pretty good job to be quite honest um, You can, uh, if you wanted to use it more as a dissecting microscope, you can attach it as such and hold up things. And this knurled knob towards the, uh, towards the end is how you focus it, left or right. Uh, there is a little cover, dust cover tab, clear dust cover tab that it is clear so which is beneficial but sometimes I forget and then I'm like why is it all scratchy so you would plug in if you're gonna use your phone you're gonna uh, or iPad you're gonna be uh, using your uh, the Wi-Fi um, and you don't have to have an actual Wi-Fi connection uh, connected to the internet you just have to have a Wi-Fi signal um, from your uh, turned on on your phone and onto the uh, microscope. You also have a bright light and to give you an idea you turn it on like uh, with the larger circular button and it turns on. Why is it not turning on? Really? Oh, because I have the LED down that would be why. There we are. Okay, so you hold it, you hold it down, and if you want to see, there is a little, pretty bright out today, so don't really need the the light, but uh, for working at night it works wonders. But you can adjust the light uh, to a uh, really bright and really um, uh, actually no light. There are one, two, there are a total of eight LEDs on the inside, so uh, you actually get a pretty bright light. <clears throat> and outside we are next to a, a palm, and we're going to look at the leaves using that. And here you can see the striations or the ribs of the palm leaf. You can also see the outside at the very end the outside of the cell walls. These are one centimeter wide bubbles in bubble wrap. And this is the upholstery from a microfiber sofa. This material is actually tan material from a pair of uh, shorts. This is a one centimeter button from a microfiber shirt.
This is my skin magnified from the inside of my forearm. And if you notice, the folds of the skin resemble lizard scales. This dark pigmented area is actually about a one millimeter wide freckle. If you turn the LEDs completely off, you're able to use the microscope as a dissecting microscope, which you can then use to study human anatomy. And if you move the microscope slowly while recording, it will be able to pick up at a fairly decent resolution uh, different aspects of anatomy. In this case, this would be my eyebrow hair. This is actually a brown granite countertop and the microscope surprised me because it picked up what appears to be either lapis lazuli or possibly some obsidian in the granite. The microscope can also be used to observe crystalline structures in ionic compounds, and in this case, this would be table salt. One of the basic experiments in beginning microbiology when students first learn to use microscopes is the upside down E. This is a variation of that where students can then look at how things are actually printed and the structure of their printing on different products. This portable microscope is extraordinarily effective both in the classroom as well as outside the classroom and it is a reasonable price of around $43. Thank you for coming along with me to explore this fantastic tool that can be used both inside and outside of the classroom. If you like this video please like and subscribe below. I've also included a link in the, uh, in the links below that will allow you to purchase the portable microscope and your purchase will then allow me to put out more uh, Field Trip Nation videos.